Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. I am very excited today to show you the seven new features in Video Studio 2022. Starting with face effects, and this is quite comical. Let's drab any, drab, grab uh -huh, any footage onto the timeline. I'm going to double click, and you're going to see a new thing called face effects. So that's, let's have a look, just quick tutorial here. Uh, I can increase it so the eyes get really big and googly and I can decrease it so it looks like mm, I'm very spiteful and yes if you play the video it basically stays with small eyes I can make the person gain weight rapidly I can also make the person lose weight rapidly skin smoothing anyway this is the new filter that they have implemented face effects animated AR stickers these are a bunch of fun just like your social medias, IG and TikTok, you can now do that in Video Studio 2022. Simply put a footage on your timeline, click this new icon, and you're going to get a host of host and host of animated stickers. Let's pick out something simple like, oh, here we go, a little pig. Click and drag it onto your timeline. It immediately adds it to it. Now look at this. We've just added a pig nose and pig ears to this person. How cool is that? You can add glasses to it if you want. You can put on as many as you want to enhance and make your videos more entertaining and funny. I think I like this. Speech to text converter. I think this is a big one because quite often you see people make videos and they put subtitles underneath. And I know for a fact that takes a really, really long time, but not anymore. Have a look how quick I can do this. Here I have a little clip in the timeline. All I'm gonna do is click this new speech to text button. I'm gonna press start. This is how simple it is. It's gonna do all the algorithms for me. Now let's have a look and listen. Video Studio 2022 now has text to speech. In other words, if you want to use subtitles, this is a quick and easy way to do it. Bloody brilliant. Look at that actor. What a great guy. So there you go. Text to speech or speech to text, I should say. It is done with just one click of a button. I think that is absolutely fantastic. GIF Creator, it's never been any easier than now. I've got a bit of footage on my timeline. Basically, it's a little kitten. It's going to yawn. And what I want to do, I want to make a GIF out of it and then send it to my friends just to let them know just how boring he is. Okay, let's have a look in the timeline of where that little kitty cat starts to yawn. There he is. He starts to yawn about here. I can probably shorten it and make it longer or shorter. Just for the tutorial, make it really nice and simple. Once I'm happy with everything, I press Export. Right, so we are finished with the rendering, and let's have a quick look at the little kitty cat. I'm just going to go into where I located my computer. Here he is. Let's have a look. How quick is this? There you go. You're boring, mate. So great about this is you can send it to your favorite line, WhatsApp, Messenger, and just to let everybody know just how boring you really are. Face indexing. Now that got me a little bit complex and I was actually thinking what the hell is this and it turned out to be quite cool So let's go on to a clip in the footage. I'm going to right click and you're going to see here a thing called faith face not faith <laughs> Face indexing now what it what it will do it will then look at all the videos that you have put into your project and then start to look at the faces within that so if you have multiple videos of this guy in that and you just want to choose that guy only you can click this one and then only those ones will be left over watch so what it's going to do is going to analyze all the footage that you have and it's going to create a profile or an index of all the people with that all the footage with this face in it and then that way it just shortens time in case you just want to use footage for one particular person only and that's what we call face indexing and I think it's actually quite cool and could be a huge time saver Camera movements, transitions, and I'll quickly show you how they work. Go into the transitions tab and you'll see a new category called camera movements. And I'll give you a very quick view on just exactly how that works. All right, so I'm actually using the Video Studio, the website information, so I can quickly show you how it works rather than me spending hours trying to make one for you. So basically what it's supposed to emanate or copy is your camera moving left, right, up or down in a circle from one scene to the next. And it's called camera movement. And it is done quite a lot in movies. You just don't notice it. But in my opinion, I'm not a big user on transactions. But I think this one is very clean and is often used in movies. So this could be quite handy to use in all your new videos. 
And last but not least, keyframing your variable speed. And this is going to be a huge thing for guys who do extreme sports, bicycles, kayaking, anything where they want to capture something that goes fast and then slow it down at the right moment. Let's have a look at a demo that I put together. So all we need to do is right click, speed, and you've got this variable speed. It will automatically launch within a couple of seconds and you get into this new window, the original and the preview. So let's have a look at the original. You'll see a guy come in, flip, and then take off. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we could make him come in, but slow the action down and then make him go back to normal speed. So that's very simple. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna gauge roughly where you think he's gonna come in. So here on this preview screen, you can see him coming in. Add a key keyframe. I was about to say, I was about to really mumble that up. I'm glad I didn't. And then I'm gonna click and drag this so I can then slow that down by point. I can even go slower than that if I want to, just how dramatic I want to capture it. And now let's have a look on the preview window. So he's gonna come in here. And as he comes in, you're gonna see him much slower. And now you're capturing the action where you want it to be. Whereas before with the old ones, you applied a variable speed to the clip and the whole clip was changed. Now this to me is fantastic, especially if you're one of these guys who does a lot of action videos. You now have the ability to control the speed on the best points. Isn't that great? And there you have it, Video Studio 2022 and all its new features. And I think personally, what they've done, they've started to gear towards more of the social media stuff like TikTok and Facebook and IG. And they left it alone for us older guys. So it's simplistic to use and easy to understand. And I think they did an excellent job on this. And if I can do stuff like this in seconds on my videos, in my opinion, that's pretty cool. And if you want to see more videos on how to use the rest of these features, Follow me and I will see you in the next tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching.